Speed to information, Kilo 21530, zero, wind 07010, visibility 10, zero, sky clear. Temperature 31, dew point 21, altimeter 29086. Visual approach, runway 9 are in use, departing runway 35 right. 2,000 feet outside of zones where we have a DME or radar is required. We have an acceptable DME. Bring us in at 2,000, final approach fix for non-precision is zones. DME of 6.5, where we'll chop the power at 10 degrees of flaps down at 800 feet a minute. We are doing the localizer only, so we do have a step down at Sogwa, DME 2.6, of 720 feet. Once we've established that we can identify that, we're at a 720 for the straight-in localizer minimums of 380 feet and one mile of visibility. Camp approach Cessna 426 Sierra Juliet request. Go ahead. 6 Sierra Juliet, approximately 11 miles west-southwest St. Pete, 2,500 feet. Request radar services for the uh, localizer 35 right at St. Pete for a missed approach. Local call sign. 426 Sierra Juliet. Hyper aircraft. It's uh, Cessna 172 Slant Golf. Number 6 Sierra Juliet, squawk 0125. Zero one two five six zero Juliet. Number six zero Juliet. Radar contact at fifteen miles southwest of St. Pete, Tampa. Altimeter two nine eight eight. What is your request? We'd like a uh, practice localizer three five right. We'd like to make it missed. All right. What do you want? Do you have to the missed? Uh, you want a GPS? No, a GPS. We'll take the uh, GPS approach for three five right. All right. Major. Right, two point one. Number six zero Juliet. Four miles from Stones. Maintain two thousand until established on the local. Excuse me. Until established on the localizer. Third ILS, runway 35 right, approach at St. Pete. The glide slope is unusable. Turn 10 degrees left to intercept. Okay, 030, uh, 2000 till established, clear for the localizer, 35 right, and uh, 10 to the left, 6 Sierra Juliet. St. Pete Tower, 426 Sierra Juliet, with you on the uh, localizer, 35 right. 426 Sierra Juliet, St. Pete Tower. Runway 35 right, clear for the option. After the option, fly heading 350. Maintain VFR at or below 1,600. Wind 060 at 10, gust 17. Clear for the option after the option. The mister left 350, VFR at or below 1,600. 6 Sierra Juliet. So 6 Sierra Juliet, Roger. And after this approach, you coming back for more? Yes, sir. We'll be uh, completing the GPS 35 right. GPS 35, Roger. And I remember with that much wind, you're probably going to need about a 5 deg or a 10 degree correction. Correct. Good evening. 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 2,000 until we're in its zones. Okay, that's just a little bit to the right of north. Let's see how that works. Looking pretty reasonable at the moment. 2,050 feet, all right, just not a notch below 2,000. Localizer looks pretty good. Make sure you use FM2 on the new port routine. Approaching zones. Take out a little bit of the correction. Same feet, say again. We'll be out for 720 DME 2.6. A bit less right wind correction. Watch the altitude, not below 2000. Not a notch below 2000. Put that power back to 2100 to make sure we can hold that. Alright, we are at zones. 10 degrees of flaps, 1700 RPM. They're down for 720 DME of 2.6. Little tiny bit right rudder. We're out of 2000 for 720. Hold about 5 or 10 degrees of the right there for a second, see how that works. Nose down a little bit more for 800 feet a minute. No more on the right correction, we'll just let it come back. Goes down for 800 feet a minute. Localizer looks good. Descent rate's 700, we need just a little bit more. Right DME here is you want to feed a little left rudder in so it quits going that way, okay? Okay. Give me a 4.8, we're looking for 2.6. 
Stop the stopper. Stopper there. I'll hold north. Descent rate is good. 1,500 for 720 until DME of 2.6. The localizer looks good. Holding that right rudder in there for that correction we had in. 600 feet a minute, nose down for just a little bit more. Localizer's good, 1,300, falling 720 at DME 4.0, looking for 2.6. All right, a little bit less on the left rudder. There we go. A little bit more descent rate, 1,300 for 720. Okay, as it comes back in, take out some of the left rudder I had. We don't want quite a thousand feet per minute though, so that's good. The right rudder, 1,100, looking for 720. A little bit nose down for the descent rate. Right rudder, but no more than about 5 degrees in here, we'll just hold that. There we go, as it comes in, out some of the correction. Nose down for 800. 2.9 DME, looking for 2.6, 900 feet for 720. Left rudder, 2.7, 2.6, we can descend below 720, we're out for 380. Straight in localizers, on the localizer. Hold that, the descent rate's about 700, that's alright. Right rudder, no more than 5 degrees in this close. We're at 650, we're out for 380. that right rudder. 600 for 380. As it comes back in, take out some of it. There we go. 500 for 380. Ready to arrest the descent. A little bit on the left. Left rudder. Hold that in there. 400 feet. Rest the descent. Powers back in to 2,000. And we are at our minimums. Hello. Definitely doable. That was right there. Quite a bit of right wind. Yeah, you do have a bunch of right wind. You did a nice job there. Thank you, sir. I had to correct for that one the whole yeah, way down. Yeah, you did.